What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about Saucony's oldie but a newbie, the Kimvara 14. So for those who are not familiar with the Kinvara series, the Kinvara was made to be super lightweight, very minimalistic, responsive, feel the ground under your feet type of shoe. This shoe has generally always had a smaller stack height, not much cushion. Um, it, it was one of the shoes that you could get up and go in. And the Kinvara has always held, um, held the trophy for being that type of shoe in the Saucony series. However, in the Saucony Kinvara 14, we have something new. So let's get into some introductory things about this shoe. First being price point. So this shoe is listed at $120, which I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty impressed. With the price of shoes going up, 170, 175, 200, 250, you know what I'm talking about out there. $120 is not too bad, considering that inflation is going up, labor costs are going up, material costs are going up, and money in the bank is going down. Saucony, you did a good job making this shoe $120. Thank you. Let's talk about the specs on this shoe. This shoe comes in with a 31 millimeters in the heel, 27 millimeters in the forefoot, giving us that four millimeter heel to toe drop keeping that minimalistic feel with a four millimeter heel to toe drop and yet and yet has lost weight that's right this shoe weighs 7.4 ounces or 210 grams we have increased the stack height given ourselves more foam and yet we have lost weight the scale goes down stack height goes up Saucony, you're a magician thank you now, after the introductory things are out of the way, let's look at this shoe in a more detailed way, starting with the tongue. So as you can see, we have a big bat wing tongue, super thin, very thin, gusseted, look at that gus right there, gusseted tongue, super thin, a little bit of padding you can see the padding on that thing and if we begin to look on top see how the lacing chain is is going right above it you don't really have anything on the tongue to catch uh, or to hold the tongue up uh, for the uh, for the laces laces to go through um, basically tongue could just fall down but you have the gusseted nature of the tongue to hold it there um, and pretty simple, pretty basic when it comes to the upper connecting together with the um, shoestrings. Very basic, very minimalistic. Talk about the upper on the Kimvara 14. So as you can see, I'm gonna give you guys some little visuals on this upper. So you can see, it looks like there's some type of engine, dual engineered mesh that's on here. And I want to say that Saucony says that there is the PB Plus uh, sock liner that's on this upper. 
The only thing that I am kind of curious about is another color scheme, the agave color, the blue. It has more of a like a sock liner um, endorphin pro three mesh upper. Uh, but what I'm getting here on this sulfur color, I'm getting like this super thick uh, layered engineered mesh. So there's fabric and there looks like there's a little bit of a dual layer going on. And as a result, I'm not really sure how breathable this shoe will be. Um, it's not stretchy as far as like it expanding or anything like that. Um, and there are places in this shoe where you can kind of look for some breathability. But I mean, overall, if I'm trying to, I, I can't really see through it, um, even with a light on it. So it doesn't look that breathable on the upper. So I'm a little bit curious as to why there uh, there's variations between the blue agave versus this one. Maybe I'm missing something, but this is the one I have and this is the one I'm working with. So here is your upper. Um, looks pretty looks pretty strong. Doesn't look that breathable. And yet, I mean, Saucony is a magician. Maybe they can surprise me with this one. So as we dealt with the tongue, dealt with the upper, we are going to deal with the heel counter. So... For the heel counter, we have a little bit of cushion, got a pull tab, super elastic pull tab, hoping it's picking it up on the camera right there. Very elastic pull tab right here. Decent amount of cushion, not much support. So even though on the heel counter, it looks like there's cushion here, there's not much support. So once I fold it down, you can kind of see that is about where the support stops. And then, so you have about an inch and a half of support in the back and yet the rest of it's cushioned. So it doesn't it doesn't come all the way up on your Achilles and there's not that much support, but yeah, that's what we have for the heel counter. Pretty minimalistic. The midsole on the Kimvara 14. So obviously with the increase in the stack height, there's an increase in foam. So Saucony on their website says that we have power run foam in this thing. Power run foam Fill in the way. Um, do a little squeeze test so you can kind of see how squishy or not squishy it is. Uh, this is Saucony's Power Run Foam. It's not the Power Run PB. Um, it's just the basic foam that they use. And it would have been nice to have the Power Run PB put in this shoe, but obviously you do that, you're going to move further away from the Kimvara. Uh, and so I guess in keeping with the minimalistic type of shoe, trying to keep the lighter weight and uh, the, the same nature of the Kimvara together, I guess they just wanted to go with the Power Run foam, which is fine with me. I mean, I'm just curious to know like how long it's going to last and what it's going to feel like. Now, obviously, I mean, with an increase in uh, stack height, we're gonna have more foam on our feet. So the ride is gonna be better but could it be better with Power Run PB? I don't know. What's your thoughts? Let me know down below. Comment down below. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. I hope you found this content helpful. If you would, do me a favor, hit this like button, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I want to hear from you. Let's keep this conversation going on the Kinvara 14. I want to hear your thoughts, your likes, and your dislikes. Let's keep this party going. And as always, guys, aim high. Oh, 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 oh,